Stripes Busy Night in the Bushveld by Tanya Nayak Illustrated by Nate Myers The day has come to a close as the hot African sun dips behind the rugged Drakensberg Mountains. It is the end of another busy day for some of the many wonderful animals who live out their days on the exciting open plains of the savannah and just the beginning of the night's activities for a number of other marvelous creatures living in the low felt. Wake up, sleepyhead, says Mommy Honey Badger to her sturdy black and white pup Stripe. It is time to look for breakfast. But why, asks her sleepy son, I think most of the other animals are going to sleep now. The day may be over for them, my child, his mother replies in a gentle voice. But for us, the night is the time to rise. Yes, Mama, responds the honey badger as he breaks into a quick run. Don't dilly-dally, shouts his mum cheerfully. Stripe's mother busily searches with her nose close to the ground for a beehive filled with honeycomb and honey. Stripe is a small but muscular creature and his short legs carry his body as fast as he is able. He is soon running confidently and in a strong stride alongside his mother through the bush felt. The honey badgers spot a herd of weary zebras. Sleep tight, my dears, says a mommy zebra affectionately to her energetic offspring, two stallions. Luckily, we don't have to change into our striped pajamas. We are already wearing them. Stripe overhears the mother zebra's comment and gives a small chuckle. Ha ha! but continues running along the well-traveled game path. The mother honey badger and her son head for the open savannah. Maybe they can find a hive there. Hunting tutoring is over for today. It is now time for a well-deserved rest, announces Mrs. Cheetah tenderly to her three playful girl cubs. Hi there, Stripe! The youngest, Spot says, as she spots Stripe out of the corner of her eye. Like to see if you can spot my spots when I am running? You know that you are so quick that all I can see is a blur, he truthfully replies. Not now, dearie, chides Mama Cheetah. Settle down, girls. Farewell, Cheetahs, says Stripe. I'll try catch up with you tomorrow. Goodbye, Stripe. See you soon, says the youngest. The cheetah girls snuggle closer together beneath a shrub and are soon snoring away. Paws twitch. Pleasant dreams of running fill their minds. The sleek felt mother cheetah contentedly flicks her long tail. She yawns a gigantic yawn and settles happily down for the night. Two. Time for a dance party, announces Chief Jabulani, the leader of the social spring hair colony. The rodents emerge from their burrows and hop about, looking very much like a bunch of miniature kangaroos. What fun, Stripe exclaims. He playfully chases the spring hairs until his mother calls him to heel. The full moon rises over the distant horizon. The king of beasts, Mr. Lion, roars, and his voice can be heard miles away. The hyenas laugh. Wake up, it's time to patrol our territory, young lions, commands the daddy lion to his oldest cubs. The cubs cuddle their mother before rising. Stripe and his mother see that the pride of lions is on the move, and although fearless, they set off in even more haste. 
Stripe and his mother decide to head towards the river. A barn owl hoots in the branches of a baobab tree. A lone black-backed jackal howls. His moonlight serenade is returned by the calls of his mate. A baboon troop sits in the top branches of the trees. An African wild dog pack are sound asleep in the safety of their den. The pups and their parents are all worn out after their day running here, there and everywhere. Stripe and his mother reach the river bank. Wake up, dear, says Mrs. Hippopotamus to her calf in a commanding voice. Baby Hippo gives a wide yawn. Rise and shine, no more time for sleeping, Tandy. It's now time to feast on the lush and plentiful grass and then go for a brisk run followed by a swim, suggests Mother Hippo happily. Mr. Hippo grunts in agreement. Bye-bye, Tandy, have fun, shouts Stripe. We will, Stripe, responds Baby Hippo. Splashing around in the Crocodile River is simply the best. Stripe and his mum then see some very special nocturnal animals. Time to look for some yummy termites, says Mama Pangolin to her sons and daughters. Not if I get there first, jokes Uncle Aardvark, as he too emerges from his burrow. He has a busy night of eating termites and digging burrows ahead of him. The pangolins set off on their nightly trail, and so does Uncle Aardvark. Mama Pangolin carries her youngest on her tail. Stripe then sees a family of porcupines. Let's go look for tasty roots and tubers, my sweethearts says Mommy Porcupine to her twin porcupets, a boy and a girl, Spike and Quill. Good idea, Mommy. Let's forage. The hungry twins agree in unison. I'll lead the way, announces Daddy Porcupine. The porcupines walk along as their impressive body armor of protective black and white quills bristles, and they then proceed to dig. The Milky Way spreads itself across the sky in a dazzling array of magnificent stars as the sky darkens. Stripe sees a tiny family of cute bush babies nestled in the branches of a tree. I like the night, Mommy, comments Bush Baby Sister. The very best time for me is when the hot sun has gone to sleep and I can enjoy playing in the comfort of the cool night air. Let's see if we can catch some insects, suggests Mother Bush Baby. Wah, wah, I want to sleep some more, cries the littlest Bush Baby brother. Time to move, says Daddy Bush Baby encouragingly. Yes, Papa, replies his Bush Baby son dutifully. The Bush Baby family hops down from the safety of the trees. They all look at Stripe with large, saucer-like eyes. Ta-ta, bush babies, says Stripe as he bids the bush baby family adieu. A serval, Janet, African wild cat, and civet slink about in the moonlit shadows on tiptoes as they silently search for dinner. A scrub hare hops quickly away. Mrs. Serval has the longest legs and a pretty spotted fur coat with a nice striped tail. Miss Janet may be a small mammal, but she is very agile and is at home on the ground or climbing trees. Miss Wildcat may also be small, but she has no problem deftly catching a mouse for her supper. Mr. Civet looks neat in an elegant coat of silvery grey fur, and he has a special musky perfume. He is quite shy, and Stripe only sees him for a second, before he disappears like a magician into the night. Mr. Lion roars. Surprised by the unexpected loud noise, 
the pangolin family instinctively curls up into tight balls. They are safe in their scale-like armor, and the cubs use them for a quick game of football. Mr. Lion calls the cubs to keep up with the pride, and the pangolins continue their journey in peace. Uncle Aardvark and the honey badgers go about their nightly duties. Uncle Aardvark busily digs burrows as safe havens for himself and as homes for other animals. He then raids termite mounds. The honey badgers continue with their search for food. The honey badgers are fortunate to discover a sleeping hive of bees in the hollow of a tree. They are keen to extract the golden, delicious, sweet-tasting honey from the honeycomb. They dig away with strong claws to find the treasure of honey. The honey is so sweet, Mama, says Stripe cheerfully. Yes, my son, it is delicious. What a feast, replies Mommy Honey Badger happily. And what a lucky discovery for us. The grayish light of dawn starts to subtly change the sky and a red sun peeps out from behind the thorn trees. The bright red flowers of a coral tree and beautiful pink and white impala lilies gleam in the morning light. A lilac-breasted roller takes flight. It is time for the nocturnal animals to retreat to the safety of their dens, burrows, trees and safe hideaways. Sleep well, Stripe. Enjoy your well-earned rest. You deserve it. Your father should be home soon, says Mummy Honey Badger softly. But all she can hear are his soft, peaceful snores in response. Mrs. Honey Badger then takes a nap too. It soon is a new day on the beautiful African savanna, and the grasslands slowly become tinged with warm, golden sunlight as far as the eye can see. An elephant herd walks confidently through the bushveld on their way to a waterhole for their morning drink. Come along, Grandmother Elephant, Mrs. Ndlovu says as the remainder of the herd follows her sure footsteps. It is time to slake our thirst. It has been a long night. The lions are snuggled up and have all gone to sleep for many hours under the shady trees. The savanna is now ours to enjoy until nightfall. You always know where to find the freshest water, Granny, says Little Timber the smallest elephant in the herd. A troop of vervet monkeys chatter excitedly in the trees as the elephants pass by on their way to quench their thirst. The youngest monkeys play a fun game of tag. A new day has begun. Mama Impala gives her lambs a gentle nudge and the herd takes off into the bush felt for the adventures of the day, followed by the crash of giraffes, wildebeest, and zebras too. All is well with the daily rhythms of the bush felt. The Creator has ensured that every creature, no matter how big or how small, knows the exact time and place where they ought to be and role to play in nature's grand plan.